Hello, and welcome to a series of videos on the model-driven CLI, which is being introduced in release 16.0.01. This video introduces the global and per session environment configuration, which controls the session preferences for a single CLI session. The global environment controls environment settings for all new MDCLI sessions. Changing the global settings can only be done in exclusive, or, global configuration mode. The per session environment is the same as the global environment configuration. It is by default copied from the global environment when the session is started, but can optionally be overridden per session. Before we make any modifications, we navigate to the Configuration Environment branch, and check the default settings, using the Info Detail command. And notice that the Prompt Context parameter has a value of True. In the first example, we set the Prompt Context parameter to False. and see that this global configuration change has no impact to the current session, where the context, configure root of BGP, is still displayed. Let's commit the current changes, log out to the current session, using the logout command, and start a new CLI session. When we navigate in the new session to the Configure Root of BGP branch, for example, we notice that this context is not displayed in the prompt anymore. The second example shows that the global environment data store is subject to AAA command authorization. The local user guest 1 has no permission to modify the global environment configuration. An unauthorized event is displayed when user guest 1 enters the configuration environment branch. User guest 1 is permitted, however, to change its own session environment settings, demonstrated using the pagination parameter, setting the environment more parameter to false. Next we demonstrate the per session environment, where the environment branch is accessed by entering environment at the operational mode root, or with slash environment from any other context. In this example we add a timestamp to proceed the first prompt line, by setting prompt timestamp to true. or omit the timestamp, by setting prompt timestamp to false. We can clearly see that the per session environment settings apply for the current session. This brings us to the end of this video. Please watch additional videos, or read the documentation for more information on the model-driven CLI.